it's a fortnightly magazine and uh, we, it's a long form uh, reporting so we do a lot of uh, in investigative uh, reporting. If you're comparing the whole, comparing with the whole Myanmar, uh, we are basically very teeny weeny bit, I mean the size of the sesame seed, right? But it's very important for this democratic transaction Without frontier, it's incomplete. That's how, that's how much we seriously we take it, and 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 what we believe is uh, we are uh, a bridging between the, the the government and the people of Myanmar, and that's the domestic domestic role that we are playing. But for internationally, what we are trying to do is uh, uh, being a, a window of, of the country, and uh, so uh, as as a foreigner, you pick up. Uh, frontier Myanmar and read and and basically understand what's going on uh, within the country uh, because of the, the issues that we are, we, we, we are tackling it's quite uh, quite serious. In, in terms of the editorial achievement I'm very happy because uh, we've been winning a lot of awards. Uh, we recently won uh, uh, two awards for two stories uh, from SOPA, Society of Publishers in Asia and with that same two stories was won in uh, Human Rights uh, uh, Awards uh, in Hong Kong. So uh, I'm quite happy with the editorial uh, uh, achievement. The media situation in terms of being in media business, it's, uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, it's very challenging and very difficult to sustain. Uh, not only my publication, uh, every media house is uh, facing the same uh, because one, uh, because of the economy, uh, very slow economy that affects uh, the, our revenue and uh, uh, second, uh, rise of technology, Facebook, uh, people just don't uh, buy hard copies like they used to and advertising revenue goes on the uh, Facebook uh, platform. And third is basically uh, a trust between uh, current uh, government and the, uh, uh, our local media. So I would say this is a bad time uh, to be in, in, in uh, Myanmar media business. Press freedom. Uh, and situation is is going backwards. Uh, it's not making any progress. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, if I have to compare to three different eras, uh, in publishing in, in in military regime, completely censored. Uh, but uh, uh, Myanmar Times uh, publication that I published was very uh, successful uh, uh, economically. Um, and then uh, we, we were fighting for, for, for the press freedom. Uh, every week we, we pushed the boundary. But then again, uh, uh, after 2013, I was uh, released from the prison and uh, I was involved with Myanmar Times again. Uh, but then uh, censorship already lifted. Uh, and uh, that was very, uh, uh, it was fun to publish because uh, press freedom was basically uh, very positive uh, is simply because uh, when Wu Teng Sang took over the, the power, that was the pre previous president, yes, and USTB president, and uh, uh, he has to reform and, uh, and media reform uh, was the, the, the one of the, the first priorities that he set. And uh, so basically lift the, the, the censorship and uh, uh, invited all the exiled medias back into Myanmar and let international media register in Myanmar and operate uh, and doing a lot of uh, uh, conferences with all uh, like, like all international big players uh, media um, so that was pretty uh, uh, positive and uh, uh, that was uh, the, 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 the happiest time to, to publish I would say but now uh, after 2015 election, uh, our hopes were very high in terms of because it's a it's a true elected government uh, and uh, uh, NLD government, and uh, everybody thought that uh, uh, our, the conditions would be a lot better than uh, uh, Uteng Sain's uh, uh, government. But uh, 
but it turned out to be be wrong. Um, basically, we were uh, slowly uh, going backwards at this point. One, um, I don't think uh, this current government cares about uh, private media development. Compared to last government, uh, if you're looking at the statistics, uh, uh, there were a lot of uh, court cases, a lot of uh, charges against press freedom, uh, defamation, uh, freedom of press, uh, freedom of uh, expression. Um, so it was a bit, a lot higher than, than the previous government. So looking at those numbers, uh, you can definitely tell. And looking at the, 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 the press freedom, um, we were 131, um, and I think for this year, I think we're 138, if I'm not mistaken. So we were seven steps uh, lower than before. This is the biggest question mark for all, everyone, uh, including me. The current uh, leader, our, our state councillor, Dong San Suu Kyi, hasn't been talking to the local media. Um, I don't know why, because maybe she thinks that uh, state, there is a state-run media. Uh, we have two daily newspapers uh, covering the whole country in Myanmar language, and one English newspaper, and the TV channels, and the radio. So um, uh, I don't know what exactly she's thinking, but it's quite sad that uh, she, Dong San Suu Kyi, is it's, it's a, a product of Myanmar, right? But she will only talk to the media, international media, whenever she travels. So as, a, as for us, uh, uh, local media, we have to follow the international media. Uh, so it's a bit, a bit awkward for us and uh, it's, I don't think it's, uh, uh, we're happy about it. Because of the, the, the kind of like a strained relationship uh, with the, the, the cool relationship, uh, I would say, with, with the West, uh, especially because of the, the Rohingya situation, um, uh, the NLD government has no choice uh, but to deal with, they have to look east again, right? Of course, we have a lot of uh, Chinese uh, influence uh, and uh, involved in the economy as well as uh, uh, politics uh, in terms of uh, uh, the peace process and stuff. Uh, Chinese are uh, quite influential. The challenge for the media is that because the, every media uh, uh, companies are really suffering at this point, and there is a big risk of, you know, uh, someone or, or any countries, uh, especially China, will come up with any kinds of uh, 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 how do you say a package, uh, very attractive package to. Uh, spread uh, using Myanmar uh, local media platforms to to to, to spread their propagandas and uh, and that would be my worry and I think uh, we we are starting to see that so I think we have to be very smart uh, not to we have to see the where's the the, the fishing hook is right uh, just we just can't grab for the food uh, uh, only. So uh, I'm, I'm being very careful uh, as, as, as Frontier Myanmar, yes. Nowhere in the world has a full press freedom, right? Uh, you're always risking uh, about saying something. But then again, our job is the essence of the media is like we we are uh, we have to reveal whatever the government doesn't want to say, right? So, but doing that, uh, uh, doing so, uh, you have to take. We have to take uh, a lot of risks, but we use um, constructive journalism, um, and we we highlight the areas uh, of need to be improved. 
um, uh, yes, we do criticize a lot in, in, in a very positive way. Um, and I think uh, there, is, there is a line that we cannot see. Um, and basically, we have to be smart or we have to have a very good gut feeling about uh, how can we push, how far can we push. We have reporters, journalists that train for conflict reporting. Right? So they know exactly uh, when to lay low and they want to avoid, avoid, avoid the uh, 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 bullets or, or, or the mob, right? So, um, of course, the, for us, the policy is the safety comes first, right? But uh, to give you an example, uh, when border guard posts, police guards uh, posts were attacked uh, by ARSA, uh, ERSA, uh, before the Rohingya uh, 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 fleeing, um, my photographer and my reporter happened to be there, so at the front line, right, uh, doing another story. But then uh, the, the the police were attacked, so they were basically uh, witnessing everything, and and then suddenly stuck there for about two weeks. Uh, then they pretty much run out of all the money, all the clothing and uh, then transportation become uh, uh, more and more difficult. Uh, so at that point, uh, I call them to just like stop, uh, drop everything and come back. Um, because for us, it's the safety is number one. And uh, we will definitely send the journalists with the experience. Um, but we don't have such thing called because the shooting do not go. Um, because there is a conflict and we want to cover. Yes, uh, the, the, they are uh, still uh, uh, donors from the Nordic countries. Uh, they, they, they are still uh, spending uh, a lot of money on, on the press freedom and stuff. Uh, but like for us, uh, uh, Frontier Myanmar, we've been very, very careful because uh, yes, you will probably get the grant, but if there is a string attached, uh, we don't want to, to, to accept any, any funding. So. Um, that's why we haven't had any anyone. <laughs> uh, we 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 value 100% uh, 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 independence uh, on 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 our editorial. So uh, it, it's quite difficult for us uh, to to look for such such donor. Uh, but uh, a couple months ago, uh, there was a GNI Google News Initiative uh, challenge, and uh, we compete for that and uh, that's for the Asia Pacific region. Um, 215 challenges uh, of 31 countries and, and we won basically. Um, so we are now working on the uh, membership model so that uh, uh, we can still generate uh, hopefully, uh, if, if we do it right, I think it, it's good for the long term and, and basically it's one stone kill two birds uh, because we, we really have to, to understand what our uh, audience, uh, the readers, core readers, core followers are uh, uh, asking for because previously uh, we basically give you the magazine, give them the ma magazine. We don't, we don't do the engagement, right? So now our new uh, model is to engage with our audience and basically build uh, the frontier, uh, build the community around the uh, uh, responsible journalism. So we are basically building the frontier Myanmar com uh, community, and uh, uh, that's a lot of work. And uh, but with help and support from Google, uh, I think we can get it done. Yes.